Hello my loves, I have for you today a collective haul of stuff that I've either bought from Buffalo Exchange or online from Whatnot, Mercari, Depop. I have stuff that I got today at the Mall of America when we were shopping and I also have things from my birthday that I'd like to show you guys because we literally didn't film at all on my birthday but that's okay. We literally just forgot to bring the camera with us basically and then I didn't feel like filming on my phone because the film quality of the phone is lacking so hard now in comparison to the camera so I was just like oh well not a big deal but I had a really nice birthday so thank you guys all so much for the birthday wishes I started the day with a massage which Nico bought me that was my first massage I've ever had so that was really nice and relaxing and a good way to start the day and after that Nico picked me up from the massage and he had surprised me also with this thing that I've been wanting like super bad that is kind of like an exclusive thing that they just happened to re-release on my birthday so Nico showed me that he also surprised me with the Aqua Teen Hunger Force Master Shake hamper which does take a few weeks to ship so unfortunately I don't have it in person to show you guys yet but I think it's worth mentioning that he bought that for me and that that's on the way because I'm so excited for that that I could just puke. Yeah I just have a ton of stuff to show you guys and I figured since we haven't really been filming much lately because we've been so busy I should just sit down and do a little haul for y'all. I'll start with some of the things that I got for my birthday. This one was also from Nico. I'm so freaking excited about this top. It is a vintage Dolce & Gabbana top that I had in my Depop likes. There's the tag and it's like very much in the same style of like how Hysteric Glamour does shirts which is part of the appeal obviously for me. I love these sleeves so much. They kind of get like skinny here in the middle and they're kind of like sparkly and then they like kind of balloon out again a little bit and I just love the graphic of this top so much. It's just stunning. I love the colors, the red and the black. So this was one of my main presents from Nico, aside from the massage of course, and I'm just like super stoked about this. Nico also got me this Hello Kitty phone holder for inside the car, which I guess I should mention too to you guys that I'm getting a new car, which is super exciting because now I can kind of like redecorate and get new things for that. But yeah, I'm gonna wait to put this in the car until I have my new one. My dad called me on my birthday to let me know that he found one that he thought was good for me and it was in my budget, just like at the very top of my budget. So I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. So I'm gonna have a black car next, which I'm really excited about because I'm gonna want to have like a whole, you know, black and pink kind of color scheme, I think, in the car. Probably gonna get some seat covers and all that good stuff, so. That's super exciting. Nico also got me these stamp sets which this one is a whole little Twin Stars set. If you've been buying from me on Whatnot and buying quite a bit of things, you've probably noticed that I've been using stamps to kind of decorate the boxes lately. So this is gonna be a new addition to that. This is like the ink pad, and then it comes with all these super cute little teeny tiny stamps, which are so absolutely precious. So I've been using this one a little bit already, but then he also got me this cinema roll one, which this one has a ton of stamps in it. It's so freaking cute. I actually freaking dropped this case already so it's got a big fat crack on the back but aside from that it's already been a lot of fun. Here's like the little ink pad and then it's got some big ones and some little ones. So that's been super fun to decorate all the super boring white boxes that I have to ship stuff in sometimes. Make them a little cuter and it takes less time to do than when I would sticker like the box or add like a coloring page to it. So I love that. Alright this next one was was my birthday present from Anna. So it's this Hello Kitty cooler, which is so freaking cute. And especially now that it's like literally like perfect beach weather, I'm so excited to get to use this soon. It's the literal cutest thing ever. So thank you so much, Anna, for this adorable gift. It's exclusive and I am so freaking excited to say that I have a Hello Kitty cooler. All right, next is this purse. 
that I got from Draven on Whatnot. It is the most absolutely beautiful orange iconic AF Ed Hardy purse and it's already got all my things in it because I've been using it non-stop lately. This is definitely now like top two with my Hysteric Glamour bag that I always use my favorite purse. Like I've been super into orange lately and I'm sure you guys will see that if you, as you see the rest of the stuff in this haul but uh, I just love this bag like it's so amazing and I got it for a great price so I really appreciate that. Thank you Draven for this amazing bag. I'm so obsessed with it. It is my absolute favorite. Another thing that I got from um, eBay lately was this hibiscus covered Von Dutch hat which I had never seen this hibiscus print one before but it kind of reminds me of like the Gyaru style which I've also been super into lately so I thought what a better way to kind of have a mishmash of both Y2K and Gyaru style by getting this hibiscus Von Dutch hat which I haven't really worn too much yet but I wore it kind of briefly the other day and just kind of trying to figure out like what exactly exactly to wear with it and how to like style my hair when I wear a hat like this because sometimes I try to do braids but then other times I'm like maybe it just looks better when it's down I don't know but starting to figure that out oh also I should show you guys these earrings that I'm wearing I've been wearing these like a lot lately they're just little half hearts and I got these at Buffalo Exchange they have little like blinged out kind of like jewels on them and those are like my favorite earrings lately because they're really light so they don't like hurt my ears when I wear them all day and I also also got this I think in the same trip this big chunky Barbie necklace which I am obsessed with and it's just like absolutely gorgeous somebody during a whatnot show actually told me that it reminded them of like the Kiki cannibal like giant necklaces from like the myspace days and I couldn't be happier to hear that because I like completely agree it's giving it's definitely giving also the dress that I'm wearing actually I've been super obsessed with I got this from vintage Bay on whatnot and again it was a great price um, the sleeves are super cool. They have zippers on them and it's just like a nice like super long dress So I should mention that too because I've literally been wearing that like non-stop lately This is probably like my third time in the last two weeks. I've worn this dress. So yeah All right, this one I haven't gotten to try on yet But I'm literally so excited to because me and Nico are going to be back in Vegas in about like a week and a half And I got this absolutely glorious cheetah print and gold metallic monokini and it even has like these little like circular rhinestone bling circle print things in the front and I just like am so thrilled with this like it's just like so wonderfully trashy and amazing I'm just like hoping that it fits me right because it looks a little small on top which I totally knew it would be but I think I'm just gonna make it work no matter what <laughs> but yeah I got this on Depop it was like about $40 and I'm really really excited to see how that works out all right next to this one is also from Depop and this one was also about $40, which is a great price because this thing is so thick and like heavy. It's basically a jacket, but the brand on this one is Baby Shoop. This is a Gyaru brand. It says Shoop on front. It's like a big pink hoodie and it has bear ears. It's the cutest thing ever. It's so soft and fluffy and I'll try it on for you guys quick because why not? But like I've been wearing this non-stop too. Like anytime I get like a little bit chilly, I'll just throw this on or bring it with me. It's so cute. I love it so much. I've been very into hot pink and black lately. Obviously, these are my nails right now, which I have been obsessed with. This is my best work yet. I'm so thrilled with how these turned out. So I love wearing stuff like this too, because obviously it just matches and it matches with like my earrings and my necklace and everything. So yeah, super excited about how my closet has been coming together lately. It's looking good. This next one is a piece that I got from Buffalo Exchange and it's this little reworked vintage like t-shirt or sweatshirt that they turned into kind of like a scrunch top with this really cool stretchy neckline. This is like a local artist, I guess I would say, Bones Minneapolis. I looked at their Instagram after finding this top and they make really cool stuff. So definitely check it out. But yeah, they make a lot of like sports kind of themed sort of ones and like hot shorts and stuff. But I really liked this vintage track and field graphic and I did wear this out so far once and I really liked how it looked on 
so I'm really glad that I got this. It's so freaking cute. And another one that I'm pretty sure I got the same day is this from Buffalo Exchange, and it says the original Pacha Ibiza. Here's the tag. Kind of reminds me of the Faith Connection stuff that Maggie sent me, actually. So I'm like wondering if it's connected in any way, but it doesn't say Faith Connection on it. But in any case, this is like a really long hooded dress, basically. It's got the hood on the back, and then it's got these rhinestone cherries on the front in black on black, which I love. And there's also zippers on the sides, and there's really big pockets, too. So this one I haven't tried on yet, but I think it's going to be really cool, because if there's one thing I love, it's a long ass hoodie so I think this is gonna be super cute here is something that I actually found at the bins that I decided to keep which is pretty rare but I actually have two things in this pile that are from the bins these are miss me capris which I don't have any capris in my wardrobe right now but I would like to so I wasn't sure if these were gonna fit me or not because they're kind of tiny little size 26 miss me's but I really like the angel wing butt pockets and I like the wash on these so I was really excited to see that they do fit me even if just barely it's like they're a little tight but like we make it work and I love those so yay the next one that I got from the bins that I decided to keep is this lovely airbrush hoodie which it says I love you on it and it's all like tropical and adorable this is so funny because I feel like the times that I decide to keep something from the bins it usually is something that like I'll have contemplated just not even getting it all just throwing it back because it'll have like stains on it or like in the case of this one it had stains and it's very pilly but I was like you know what I think it has potential and then lo and behold the more I looked at it I was like you know what this one's kind of a banger I'm gonna keep it I've already worn it like twice and I've worn it like around the house and out too so I really like that this one is kind of like oversized on me I've always liked the airbrush kind of vibe with things so yeah I'm super into it I'm glad I got it I would have been a fool to not buy that all right this next one was from pretty sure Scorpio vintage on whatnot it's this little pink juicy couture short sleeve hoodie which is so freaking cute I actually haven't tried this one on yet but I think it's gonna work I don't know like exactly what to wear with it yet but I couldn't pass it up it was a great deal and it's like juicy couture I mean come on and it's like the cutest color of bubblegum pink so that one was too precious not to get another thing that I got from buff exchange was these bloomer shorts which these are also like super gyaru and I like the stretchy waistband up top and then they really like are quite poofy and if you can fully tell but like I did try these on once so far and I didn't really like them with what I was wearing at the time but I will find a good outfit for them I'm sure here's a tag on those not very familiar with that brand by any means but these were super cheap at Buffalo Exchange they were like 14 bucks so I was like hell yeah I gotta try those out hopefully I can figure out a cute outfit to wear with them and then another thing that I got from Buffalo Exchange recently I actually almost sold this the same night I got it on whatnot but now I don't know I kind of want to keep it honestly like because I tried it on and it looks so cute on it's like kind of insane <laughs> so this is like a y2k juicy couture cardigan sweater but it's completely wool and I just love the little scotty dogs and I just they don't make juicy couture like this anymore so it seems really special and I just like after trying it on feel a little more attached to it now so this one might stay in my closet um, unfortunately for anybody who was eyeing it when I showed it off on whatnot but yeah it's real cute um, I think I paid only like $24 for it so definitely a great price um, for Buffalo Exchange I tried to sell it on whatnot for like 38 and nobody grabbed it and if I was gonna list it on Depop I'd definitely do like 50 plus so that ship has sailed now it's going back in my closet another one that I got on Depop like literally just like yesterday is this super cute cropped hoodie which I've been really into cropped hoodies lately I've realized this one has like hundred dollar bills all over it like the colors are so good and the brand on this one is called escape which I've also never really seen this brand much but I am obsessed with this the seller shipped super fast too so I just think this is the cutest thing like perfect for like a trashy summer I love it. This next one I got on eBay the same night that I bought the Von Dutch hat. It's kind of on a little shopping spree that night, but this one is a absolute classic. It's a hustler talk shit get hit t-shirt and it's big enough to be a t-shirt dress on me. It's got the brass knuckles on the side and it's just absolutely perfect. It's got that old Y2K hustler tag. It's just incredible. Um, I've worn this so far to the bins, which I thought was a perfect place to wear it because 
sometimes there's a little drama. <laughs> Alright, this next one I got on Mercari, and this one was also like so freaking cheap. I just love it so much because again, it's kind of giving that like tropical Hawaiian Hiaru vibe. It's a Harajuku Girls hoodie, and it's like a Hawaii themed one. It says Aloha all over it, and it's just got like palm trees and like coconuts and tiki's and stuff like that so i thought this was so darling and i've been wearing this quite a bit too i've definitely worn it a couple times already like when we've gone out to get like happy hour margaritas and stuff it's just like a nice thin hoodie and i just love the colors and everything it's so freaking cute this next one i got on mercari and it's an absolute banger it's this beautiful bubblegum pink hysteric glamour sweatshirt pullover and it's says hysteric glamour makes me smile which is a fact so i was like i don't have any like hysteric glamour pullover hoodies i've realized and i was like maybe that's something i should add to the stash i feel like a lot of my hysteric glamour also is kind of like a gray color so i actually don't like wearing gray very much like it's kind of one of my like lesser favorite colors like i'd say like orange white green and pink are kind of what i would prefer so i've kind of been paying more attention to that lately um, the camera kind of started to overheat and I have no idea what I was saying, but basically this is cute and I got it for a good price. It was like $70. I also got this Hysteric Glamour on eBay. Bought this one straight from Japan and again, this one is very like giving that kind of like sporty Y2K vibe that I've also been into. So I thought this would be a really good one that I'd probably wear a lot and it's the older Hysteric, which I love. I just like the striped sleeves. I like the graphic a lot and I've worn this a couple times already and it's just like super freaking cute so I'm really glad I got that one too and then the last of my online purchases that I want to share with you guys is this amazing bundle of three items that I got from the thrifty sprout on whatnot so the first thing that I grabbed from her was this hat which I haven't even tried this hat on yet but I need to like make sure that I do in a way where I can like be sure that it looks good I don't want to like throw it on right now and be like Ugh, you know so I'm still gonna wait to try it on until I'm like ready but this is like the most beautifully insane hat ever. The brand is called De Puta Madre and it's like basically the sky that like made this brand like in jail it like has this whole like storyline thing on it which is so cool and then on the front it has this embroidery that says Heidi so I like something that's about as weird as it can get and that to me is exactly what that is so obviously I had to get that and it's orange super cute and then my favorite thing from the bundle that I got from her is this top which is freaking amazing it has like mesh sleeves and then it has like this kind of like I think this is silk actually it feels like silk but it has these like weird cutout areas and this is also giving kind of like Giaru realness I feel like just with the Hawaiian kind of like girl in the middle and yeah the brand on this one is called Misia Paris. I wore this to work the other day and I literally felt so freaking cute. Sorry my neighbors are freaking out right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that but there's something exciting going on outside but anyway this is gonna look so cute with some of the hair accessories that i got from claire's today i can't wait to show you guys they're so freaking precious claire's was having a big sale where like you could pick out six things for nine dollars from these couple racks and i got some really cute stuff so yeah just keep this in mind and then i'll show you guys the hair things but this is the last thing from that bundle that i got that is so cute and i haven't tried this one on yet but it is just like a cute little white UK clubbing kind of top. It's got this bling in the middle and it's like a pink and orangey kind of like cheetah print vibe and the brand on this one is XOXO. So yeah that was like one of the best whatnot bundles I've like ever gotten. Like seriously obsessed. Okay so moving on to the stuff I got from the mall today. We went into Five Below. So at the time that I'm filming this tomorrow is actually the Hello Kitty raid train on whatnot that I'm in. So I found this which they didn't have these last time but it's a little um um, airport like headrest pillow thing and it's my melody so this was literally like about six dollars it was 555 which i thought everything at five below was supposed to be less than five but it was around six so i got this i'm gonna see if anybody wants it for just like slightly more i'll do it auction style if anybody wants it but if nobody does i don't know i've never really been a girly to like need or want one of these because i feel like i just don't want to walk around with it like this in the airport and i also don't want to waste space in my carry-on by having it in there at any point in time 
so we'll see but it is really freaking cute and then I also got this for the raid train which is literally Hello Kitty mini skateboard tech decks um I just couldn't say no to this I'm like that's just like so bizarre and adorable I just needed to get it so here they are so that'll be also available tomorrow in the raid train and then I got this for some reason I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or like put it in a giveaway or what but it's a ring pop that is also a lip balm so I mean I, I love it I just I don't really need it and I don't really wear lip balm <laughs> so I'm like mm, I'm just gonna see what happens but I thought it was so freaking cute I had to get it I also got this Hello Kitty magnet which probably just gonna put on the fridge I mean why not like I almost thought to myself I should just put in the raid train but I'm like realistically like I could probably use a magnet like we we constantly are putting stuff on our fridge I'm sure you guys have seen our fridge it's covered in stuff so it's like we always need magnets and then I'm really excited about this actually even though I'm not really into squishmallows like they're fine like I'm I'm cool with squishmallows but I'm not like a squishmallow girly but I need a planner really bad because I mistakenly bought a planner last year that I thought was gonna be good for a whole you know circuit a whole year but it was actually only good for a school year which is like summer so unfortunately I thought it was gonna be good till next Christmas the one that I'm currently using but it's actually done um like soon like there's like one month left for some reason so I found this Squishmallow planner at five below and it was only like three bucks and it's really cute like it's way better than like you know most planners in the world so it's got like cute little and it's got like to-do lists kind of like paper and stuff which is good kind of looks like this on the inside super cute yeah lots of stickers this is nice too like I like when planners come with stuff like that so yeah that'll be for me and then we went into Marshall's and I've actually been looking for a dog leash for Michi that isn't ugly AF and I found this one today which is like a cheetah print pink and blue leash and collar which the collar I'm probably not going to use because I like his spiky collar way too much but this leash will replace either both or for sure I have this like really ugly like leather one that I sometimes use and I hate it like it's all gross and dirty and nasty and I just want it gone so this one's gonna replace that excited about that and I also got him these bacon and blueberry treats this is one of my favorite brands of treats to get for him because they're like really good ingredients and I like how bizarre the flavors always are yeah there's literally only like five ingredients it's oat flour honey bacon and blueberries and coconut oil that's it so I just think these are really good quality treats so I got him two I also got him the lamb and mint because his treat jar is getting empty so I was like we better stock up and these were really cheap again they're like 450 and then I also got a candle this is one of my favorite scents for the summertime is like eucalyptus and spearmint and that is exactly what this one is a little stress relief candle situation smells so freaking good I love it it's just like perfect for summertime my favorite and then last but not least in Marshall's I got these makeup wipes which are rose water kind of like scented ones and rose water is like you know always good for the skin so I was like I always need these I may as well grab these they were cheap next we had to go into Sephora because I was running out of my foundation that I use which I use the Pat McGrath foundation in the shade light three and it is the skin fetish foundation I've been using this for years and it's by far the best foundation I've ever had it is expensive it's like $70 but it's worth every penny and because it was my birthday I picked out this for my Sephora birthday gift it's like a set of stuff from the brand way which I use their shampoo and conditioner already so I was like why not try some of these other things it also comes with this tiny version of this shampoo that I use so that's always good. Hey, Michi. I'll give you a treat in a second. And then last but not least, well, I guess there's two places still. We went to Abisu and we went to Claire's. So I'm going to show you guys the stuff I got from Claire's. I'm really excited, actually. So let's just take a moment for this shirt. I got this hair clip, this little Hawaiian flower thing. This would be really cute together. And then I got this white one. Again, super cute. And then this one's my favorite. It's a party porpoise dolphin shaped hair clip. Insane. Insane. So like I said, everything at Claire's like on a couple certain racks, it was six for nine dollars. So this usually like apparently retailed alone 13. This this fucking thing was supposed to be $13 alone. Look at that insane and same with this one this one was supposed to be $13 retail too and again these are just like super like tropical Hawaiian Giaru vibes which I'm super into right now and this one used to be $15 this dolphin hair clip that not insane like I got all of this stuff for less than one of them costed normal price that's crazy I also got 
these earrings. So this was part of the deal too. They're just like cute little cross earrings. They look really light and like they're not gonna hurt me. So I was like, why not? And then I also got this as one of the things. It is a necklace that has little lightning bolts all over it. So I thought that was cute because I do like lightning bolts and yeah, just like a nice little silver chain necklace. And then last but not least, I got these little lobster earrings because I just thought they were fun. And it was kind of hard to find six things that I even liked that much, but I'm, I'm really happy with the ones that I did get. So this is kind of just like a random, like, you know, whatever. They're cute, they're little, they're precious. Everything else in this haul was from Ibisu, the little Japanese, like, grocery store supermarket situation. Um, so some of this stuff Nico picked out and some I picked out. These are chips that are oyster and squid flavor got little oysters on the front as you can see and we haven't tried these yet but hopefully they're good and we got two boxes of jagabees our favorite favorite little treat we got the milk tea flavor of kit kat which i've never tried this flavor before so hopefully those are good they didn't have the melon one anymore that one's already gone so i was like damn kind of crazy they've been like cycling stuff out like really fast and i think they're actually gonna expand it looks like they're like getting ready to like make the store like two times as big as it is right now so yeah that's cool nico picked out these it looks like they're bacon flavored but it says bee corn so yeah we'll see those look good though and then this finally got the better of me my curiosity these are i'm eh. I know it's squid. Beyond that, I'm not really sure. I know it's squid though. I don't know if it's like dried. I don't know if it's like jerky. I don't know if it's kind of like a chip. That part is a mystery, but it was cheap enough and I've been curious enough about it that I was like, it's time to try the squid. I also got these pretz in the flavor chicken and herb because pretz are always kind of a good like little savory treat. I haven't tried that flavor before. And then we got this My Melody Nail Clipper for Nico or both of us to use because I at one point got Nico a pom-pom pure in one and it broke. So now we have this one. And then I got two Japanese monsters, mostly because I like that there's Japanese writing on them. I don't think there's anything special about these really other than they're a little skinnier than the American sized cans. They're a little smaller in size. But yeah, I was just like, whatever. It's like around the same price as like they are at Target. So I'll get them. And then last but not least, my favorite thing that I got today at a Bisu is this wooden painted rabbit comb. It's like a rabbit holding a lollipop. And I've been looking for a comb to tease my hair with because right now I have nothing. So I found this and it was like kind of expensive it was like $13 almost but I'm really glad that it's super cute like it's got the perfect vibe because I don't know about you guys but if it's not cute I just don't want it so when I found this I was really excited actually because I've been on the lookout for a calm and I have not seen a cute one but yeah that kind of does it so tons and tons of things let me know what you guys liked the most out of my little haul and if you have anything else you'd like to talk about with me in the comments feel free to leave a comment and I'd love to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've missed you so much and I hope that we can get back to posting more regularly in the future. But until then, I hope you guys are happy with the little bits of videos that we can put out. So love you guys. Bye.